Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you, Sister Katie? You okay? I'm great. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for having me on your live. Excellent. Great stuff. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. No technical hitches, which is, this, which is a good sign. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Because uh, I know you're not used to being on Instagram, so thank you so much, uh, Alhamdulillah, for joining. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can, we can uh, give some value today in this short discussion. Um, inshallah. Sure. I was hoping that we can um, kind of uh, talk a little bit about this uh, love and marriage uh, virtual summit uh, that you've, uh, mashallah, been putting a lot of effort and time into. Um, so inshallah, we'll, 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 we'll make a start. I think people are still joining. Um, so uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salatu wassalamu ala rasulihi al-Kareem. Amma ba'd. So alhamdulillah, it's a great blessing. Alhamdulillah, Allah gives us another opportunity to be able to serve our, our community, our brothers and sisters. Um, and the topic of today's discussion is find your soulmate, make your marriage last. So that's, uh, inshallah, the tagline that we have for our upcoming uh, virtual summit as well, uh, which uh, Sister Katie is hosting. So I thought, you know what, let's get, let's get Sister Katie on here and let's get a kind of a little bit, little bit of a, an intro to the, uh, to the event, which is actually on uh, this coming Monday. Um, Inshallah, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, ask, uh, I'll ask you to maybe talk a little bit more about the uh, event and what your thinking was behind it. Um, but I think if we can just maybe just start with a very just brief introduction uh, for Sister Katie, for those of you who don't know her. Um, so Sister Katie Miranda Al-Ali is a transformational visionary artist. Uh, she helps people get out of their own way so that they can manifest what they truly want in their life. Uh, a very succinct and uh, beautiful uh, bio, uh, but it brings up a lot of questions in my mind. So I'll probably kind of uh, ask uh, one or two questions uh, around that. But before we do, um, Sister Kate, if you could kindly just introduce yourself as well, just for the benefit of the audience, like um, a little bit more kind of background to yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Where do you reside? Um, and uh, what's kind of, um, what's your kind of uh, line of work? Yeah, great. Thank you, Brother Shehzad, for having me on here. And hello to everybody who's joined. Uh, my name is Katie Miranda El Ali. A lot of people know me from Katie Miranda Jewelry. I design. And a transformational visionary artist and manifesting coach. And the reason I'm hosting this Love and Marriage Summit is it's very specific. So I, my first marriage didn't work out. And it was because I, I made the choice, I, I made a wrong choice, I married somebody who was not right for me. And I went through two years, a lot of pain and suffering, trying to make that marriage work. And I just, in hindsight, see like where the mistakes were made. And I want to show people how to avoid getting into a um, a painful marriage to somebody who's not right and alhamdulillah now I'm I'm I married I'm remarried again married there are some like very quick and easy things that people can do when they're meeting a new potential suitor um, that will filter filter people out who are not right for them and that's what we're going to be talking about in the um, love and marriage summit and we we've got five speakers we've got me you baba muhammad isaac and aram bin safi we've got um, some giveaways of free coaching and prizes um, a free month of membership in half our gene and we've got a lot of advice for uh, Muslims who are trying to get married, whether it's your first time getting married or whether you've been divorced like me. Um, we want to set you up to work and to be happy. And a lot of people, they, when they're in love or infatuated with somebody, they're not thinking about like what could potentially go wrong a year down the line, five years down the line. Um, because they're so caught up in being in love and hormones. And um, so we really want you to, we really want to get you to think clearly and rationally going into this process 
so you do make a good choice because this decision is the, the decision of who to marry, it's like the most important choice that you will ever make. And nobody tells you this, like you don't learn this in school. Um, and my parents certainly did not tell me this, but it has repercussions for, for you, for the person you marry, for your parents, for your descendants and for their descendants. And I'm gonna talk about that um, on the virtual summit. So hope to see a lot of people there. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you for that um, kind of introduction into um, a, a bit of background to yourself and also uh, a bit of an intro into the um, upcoming event, which, uh, yeah, definitely there's some uh, some great experts uh, um, going to be who are lined up to speak and they'll be sharing a lot of nuggets. So it's going to be definitely one to um, one to join. Um, I've been getting questions from people. I've been I had a single mom contact me today that, hey, brother, assalamu alaikum, is this going to be uh, relevant for me? And I was like, yeah, absolutely, there's going to be nuggets for you, you know? And then there was someone else that said, oh, well, we're already married, right? So is, is this going to be something that's going to be beneficial for us? And, um, and I said, yes, absolutely. You're going to, you know, the, the, the things that we're going to be sharing is going to be something for everyone. Um, and I think this is why I'm really kind of looking forward to this, um, really, really kind of um, uh, putting a lot of energy um, in, in, into this. And inshallah, we're going to manifest an amazing virtual summit, uh, especially with uh, the manifestation coach herself, Sister Katie, being the, uh, the, the, the host of the event. So um, before we proceed, Sister Katie, I just want to go back to your title. So it's quite a mouthful, isn't it, right? You're, you know, um, transformational. Uh, there's some really key words in there, transformational, manifesting, um, artist, so for, you know, for our audience, like they're, they're going to be intrigued, right? So like, what does that mean, you know, in terms of like your, um, your potential client? What does your potential client look like? Uh, what, how would you be able to kind of um, serve, uh, you know, your, you know, a potential client? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that question. First, I want to tell people who are interested in joining the summit free. It's on Monday and to join just click the link in my bio and that will take you to the page where you can sign up so what what i've been doing is i'm helping man people manifest what they want in their life and i got started in that because um about a year before i met my current husband i i actually drew a picture of him i'm a trained illustrator and i draw a lot and i i drew a picture of the guy who has uncanny resemblance to my now husband and that if I could show people on here that picture I would but I don't know how to do that so I'm just going to skip that um by the time we got married I was 43 and neither of us had kids we both wanted kids and I ended up having four miscarriages and doctors were telling me I should give up on trying to have my own baby because I'm too old um, and my husband said, well, Katie, you manifested me by drawing me. Why don't you try manifesting our future kid and draw a picture of our future kid? So I did. And about nine months after I drew that picture, I got pregnant. I stayed pregnant. I had a healthy and normal pregnancy and I had my first baby at age 45. He's a healthy and normal baby. Um, nice. We did not use IVF. Um, so what I realized in hindsight, looking back on this, is like some something's going on here, and I would like to be able to share this with other people. So now I'm working with clients who maybe they went through some past trauma or disappointment, and they want to turn that around, and they want to actually manifest what they truly want. So, you know, it's maybe it's somebody who's been through a divorce. Um, I worked with somebody who was in prison who wanted to turn his life around and alhamdulillah he has. <clears throat> so if you sign up to the Love and Marriage Summit, you will get on my mailing list and you will hear more about what I do if this is something that you're interested in. So just click the link in my bio and you'll get on this free summit. It's going to be three hours long. Um, so make sure to block out your schedule 
because we have a lot to share and a lot you're going to learn stuff that your parents don't teach you, schools don't teach you, the book doesn't teach you. Awesome, awesome. This is, uh, mashallah, really, really um, fascinating. Uh, I've, I've said this to you offline as well, right? Like the, the work that you're doing, it's, it's really, um, it's kind of pioneering to some extent because um, like, I, I just want to tie this in with, um, uh, with, the, with the actual virtual summit itself, right? So we're going to have, obviously, I, I think the majority of the people that will be attending this summit are going to be brothers and sisters who are looking to get married, right? Who are looking to find their ideal right. spouse. So the service that you provide, uh, because this interview is about you, right? And I really want to kind of showcase the, your, your talents and you're really someone um, that I think, you know, is going to uh, be making, um, you know, a lot of big uh, um, positive moves in um, not just in the Muslim community. You're already, mashallah, working with a lot of mainstream clients. So I think this is um, really, a, you know, um, a good opportunity for people in the Muslim community that maybe haven't heard of you before. Um, to kind of get become a little bit more familiar. So let me just kind of, um, I was going to say visualize, but let's, um, let me just kind of understand this. So, right. So somebody wants to find their ideal spouse, yeah? And they come to, they come to yourself. Um, so are you saying that you're going to actually help them uh, just like you did with yourself? Like you actually made this portrait of your husband who you hadn't even met yet. Like, is that kind of what's going to potentially could happen? Like you could help someone actually manifest through through the, the, your your art to actually find their their, their ideal spouse. So I think that's really fascinating. I do. It's a combination of life coaching and art, and I help life and what the path is to achieve that. And they just basically describe how they want their life to look. And for, ex for example, if they want to manifest their future spouse, we get clear about what their life is going to look like with their spouse. And they describe that to me. And because I am a trained illustrator, I'll picture what that looks like for them. And that helps anchor them to their future life where they have this spouse and it helps them believe that it's actually really possible to manifest what they want. And that's, that's what drawing my future kid did for me, to help them believe that it was actually really possible despite all the garbage that comes at him in um, from the medical establishment and from the media about having a baby. So we focus, me and my clients, focus on like what kind of experience they want to have with their future with their future spouse and then I draw that for them for example I'm with a client now she's uh, divorced and she wants to manifest her future man her future life with him which uh, what she wants is to live half the time in London and half the time in Taiwan so I'm drawing a picture of her and her future man walking down a street the left side of the street is in London right side of the street is in Taiwan and she's going to get to put this picture on her wall it's going to be on her phone you're going to see it like 200 times a day because um, you know research says that people are checking their phones like 200 times a day so if you understand what um, the subconscious mind does when it sees like something you want like for example if you want to buy a new car you're going to start noticing that specific of car everywhere and that's your subconscious mind trying to help you figure out and stay focused on what you want which is a new car so if you have a picture you want on your phone and on your wall and you're seeing it every day your subconscious mind is actually going to start working overtime like while you're sleeping to try and figure out like how to get you there uh so that that's in a nutshell what i do with my clients excellent so did you say that you actually um drew a picture of your future child as well yeah yeah, oh, wow. I, I drew a pic picture of my future baby. Um, Mashallah. Yeah, and I, I wish I could share that on here, um, but I don't know how to, I don't think you could share pictures on here. 
Yeah, no, that's fine. Inshallah, we could maybe do that. Uh, do that. Um... Uh, in a in a in a in another interview, inshallah. Um, you also do jewelry, right? So, um, like, tell us about that. You know, like you, um, you know, you've kind of been doing that for quite some time, right? Arabic calligraphy, is that right? Yeah, I studied Arabic calligraphy when I lived in Palestine um, back in it was like 2006 to 2009. And I, I just absolutely fell in love with that art form. And when I came back to the U.S., I took a metalsmithing class and I decided to combine Arabic calligraphy with um, jewelry design. And so you can see a lot of uh, my products on my Instagram. Ah, okay, yes. So you have uh, a, a, a link to some of your, um, your jewelry on, on the Instagram page, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. So, mashallah, what can we say? You know, a woman of, uh, or sister rather, of many talents, mashallah. So a real uh, blessing to, uh, to have you. And I think that this, um, uh, this summit is definitely going to be um, something, you know, that is going to be, I think it's going to add a lot of value to people's lives. They're going to get some real nuggets. Um, we've just heard, uh, you know, Sister Katie talking about, you know, what her skills and expertise are. And then we've got Sister Iram bin Safia, and I have interviewed her recently. And I think you actually saw her on my um, on my Instagram, right? And uh, decided to kind of invite her um, as one of the um, uh, people on the panel. And she's she's very, mashallah, um, uh, well kind of uh, well versed in in terms of relationships. And you'll hear, and, and I think you'll probably learn a lot about the power of du'a as well from Sister Iram because she's helped. You know, she's changed a, a lot of her life, a lot of the things that are going on in her life through the power of du'a. Um, and then we have Brother Muhammad Isaq. Um, who's uh, you know someone who I respect as a as a as a teacher actually I attended one of his uh, workshops he's someone who's travelled um, the world uh, learning um, mashallah from some great teachers um, he's very very well versed uh, from an Islamic perspective um, he was actually he used to be a math teacher uh, but then he just wanted to follow his heart he started travelling around the world um, and now he's actually he's still travelling around the world but now he's um, doing something that he loves, which is teaching people about temperament and how to find your ideal match according to what your temperament is. Um, and this is a, a great Islamic tradition that uh, we've kind of lost in our, in our modern time. So Brother Muhammad Ishaq, what he's teaching is, um, it's very traditional, but it's probably quite revolutionary for our, you know, our, for our modern time. So we've got him as well. Um, and then we've got uh, one and only Baba Ali. Uh, you know, he needs no introduction, right? SubhanAllah. If you want to learn tactics, uh, I mean, like, I, I like to think that, you know, I focus more on the psychology, the mindset of the person, getting them right psychologically so that they're in a position to be able to find that person. And then we've got people like Sister Katie yourself and then obviously Brother Baba Ali, who will give you the tactics, you know, to be able to make it happen, you know, find, um, you know, kind of uh, the right match for you. So I think it's going to, it's really, it's a great panel. Uh, we're getting great feedback um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, You've spoken about the, um, the the retreat. Obviously, you mentioned it's it's free. Uh, it's going to be uh, three three and a half hours. Uh, we're going to have like um, three three hours, I think. Yeah, three hours. So it's super super value. There's going to be personal interviews which with, with each panelist. Then there's obviously going to be a, a kind of a Q and A. Then there's a popcorn style discussion where people can you know just talk, talk about um, whatever is coming up in the discussion, right? So. Um, yeah, I think it's right. You know, it's super, super value. People are really gonna get um, get benefit from this. I think one thing you haven't mentioned is um, there. There is a VIP package as well, wasn't there? If you can maybe just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. And for those of you who are just coming on, if you want to join this free virtual summit um, about finding your ideal spouse, just click the link in my bio, and you'll um, land on a opt-in page, and you can your email and I will personally send you all the instructions about how to join and we do have an upgrade to a VIP VIP package um, it's got uh, free coaching calls with a lot of us a free course from me from Mohammed Isak and it also includes a free one month membership to half our dean so you will get instructions on how to take advantage of that Put your email um, in the the uh, 
page, which is in my bio. Excellent. And inshallah, we'll also put the uh, relevant links um, in the comments to this, um, to this live, uh, which we'll okay. leave up. We'll leave this live up as well for people. We won't, uh, we won't remove it. So um, inshallah, people can benefit that way as well. Um, excellent. I think we've covered most, most of what I really wanted to um, discuss. Is there anything um, that you want to kind of, anything else you want to mention, Sister Katie? And also, how can people contact you if they want to reach out to you? What's the, what's the best way? We will share your, um, your, your contact in the comments as well. But how can people get hold of you? Uh, just DM me on Instagram. Probably the best way. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khair. I think, uh, is there anything else you'd like to mention before we wrap up? I think that's about it. Yeah, just click the link in my bio to join the free virtual summit. Inshallah, I'll see some of you there. And thanks for having me, brother. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah bless you. Thank you for, for joining us and um, enlightening us with your, uh, you know, with, your, with your knowledge and your wisdom. And uh, inshallah, really looking forward to um, this uh, summit on Monday. Hopefully it all goes well. Okay. okay. I'll see you guys there, inshallah. Thank you. Jazakumullah. Thank you to everyone joining. Inshallah, please share this with your, with your, uh, um, with your contacts as well. And uh, it doesn't matter where you are um, in your kind of, uh, you know, in, in, in terms of the, the relationship cycle, whether you're looking for, for your ideal spouse, whether you're married and you want to just maybe learn things which can ha help to elevate and take your marriage to the next level. Or maybe you're someone who's um, come, kind of, you know, coming off the back of a not so great experience like, Katie, Sister Katie mentioned herself, right? And she, you know, she had to do a lot of inner work to be able to kind of rejuvenate herself and get her mindset right. So maybe you're in that position. So then if, you, if, if that's you, then this uh, summit will definitely help you as well. So there's something here for everyone. And uh, inshallah, I'm really excited um, to, to participate in this. And I'm sure people will get super, super value, inshallah. But uh, for now, thank you, everyone. Until next time, uh, take care of yourselves and your family members. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you once again. Thank you.